James Gandolfini was an American actor best known for his role as Tony Soprano in the HBO series The Sopranos. His portrayal of the character earned him numerous awards, including three Emmy Awards and a Golden Globe Award. In addition to his role as Tony Soprano, Gandolfini also appeared in films such as True Romance, Crimson Tide, The Last Castle, and The Taking of Pelham 123. He received critical acclaim for his performance in Enough Said and was nominated for a Screen Actors Guild Award for his role in the film. Gandolfini was also involved in producing documentaries and television films, including Alive Day Memories, Home from Iraq and Wartorn, 1861-2010. He passed away in 2013 at the age of 51 due to a heart attack. James Gandolfini was born on September 18, 1961 in Westwood, New Jersey to Santa, a food service worker of Italian descent, and James Sr., a bricklayer and cement mason who served in World War II and later became the head custodian at a local high school. Gandolfini had two sisters and was raised in a Catholic household where Italian was spoken at home. He attended Park Ridge High School, where he played basketball and participated in school plays. After graduating in 1979, he earned a BA in communications from Rutgers University, New Brunswick. Prior to his acting career, Gandolfini worked as a bartender and club manager in Manhattan. He was introduced to acting when he accompanied a friend to a Meisner Technique acting class and later studied at the Gately Pool Conservatory for two years. After completing his education, Gandolfini worked a variety of jobs in Manhattan while also acting in small budget films. He made his Broadway debut in A Streetcar Named Desire and also appeared in the Broadway production of On the Waterfront. Gandolfini's first film role was in a 1989 NYU student film called Eddie. He gained recognition for his role as Virgil, a mob enforcer, in the film True Romance and received critical praise for his performance. Gandolfini went on to appear in various films such as Terminal Velocity, Crimson Tide, Get Shorty, and The Dura. Despite mixed reviews for some of these films, Gandolfini's acting was generally well received. In 1995, television writer and producer David Chase pitched the concept for The Sopranos to several networks before it was eventually picked up by HBO. The show, which aired from 1999 to 2007, follows Tony Soprano, a New Jersey-based Italian-American mobster, as he tries to balance his family life with his role as the head of a crime family. Gandolfini was selected for the role of Tony Soprano after the casting director saw a clip of his performance in True Romance. His portrayal of Tony Soprano received widespread acclaim and helped to popularize the concept of the anti-hero on television. Gandolfini won numerous awards for his performance, including three Primetime Emmy Awards and a Golden Globe Award. He was also named as one of the greatest TV icons of all time by Entertainment Weekly. While working on The Sopranos, Gandolfini also appeared in a number of films, including The Mexican, The Last Castle, and Romance and Cigarettes. He also made guest appearances on Sesame Street and Saturday Night Live. After the conclusion of The Sopranos, Gandolfini co-founded the production company Attaboy Films and signed a deal with HBO to develop original programming. In 2007, he produced the documentary Alive Day Memories, Home from Iraq, which explored the experiences of injured Iraq war veterans. The following year, he appeared in the Broadway play God of Carnage and received a Tony Award nomination for his performance. Gandolfini also had roles in the films The Taking of Pelham 123, Where the Wild Things Are, and Not Fade Away. In 2010, he produced the HBO documentary Wartorn, 1861-2010, which examined the impact of post-traumatic stress disorder on soldiers and their families throughout American history. He was also an executive producer of the HBO film Hemingway and Gellhorn. After his death in 2013, Gandolfini's final film appearances were in the movies Enough Said and The Drop. He was also credited as an executive producer on the HBO miniseries The Night Of, which premiered in 2016. The role he was set to play in the show was eventually taken over by actor John Torturo. Gandolfini maintained connections to his hometown of Park Ridge, New Jersey and supported the October Woman Foundation for Breast Cancer Research. He owned properties in New York City, Chester Township, and Tewkesbury Township, New Jersey. Gandolfini was married twice, first to Marcy Wudarski from 1999 to 2002, with whom he had a son named Michael. He married former model and actress Deborah Lynn in 2008 and had a daughter, Liliane. In interviews, Gandolfini often described himself as a dumb, fat guy from Jersey. 
Gandolfini died unexpectedly in Rome at the age of 51 on June 19, 2013. He was found unconscious in the bathroom of his hotel by his 14-year-old son, Michael, who called emergency services. Gandolfini was pronounced dead at the hospital 20 minutes later, and an autopsy later confirmed that he had died of a heart attack. His death received widespread attention, with state and national politicians offering their condolences online. The flag on all New Jersey state buildings was flown at half-staff on June 24 in honor of Gandolfini, and the Broadway theaters dimmed their lights on June 26 in his memory. His funeral service was held on June 27, 2013 at the Cathedral of St. John the Divine in Manhattan, and he was cremated, with his ashes given to his family. James Gandolfini's performance as Tony Soprano in The Sopranos has been widely praised by his colleagues and critics as one of the greatest achievements in television history. Many have credited his portrayal of the complex and flawed character as an influence on other cable TV protagonists, including Vic Mackey in The Shield, Al Swearingen in Deadwood, and Don Draper in Mad Men. Emily Nussbaum of The New Yorker stated that Gandolfini's performance as Tony Soprano showed the full potential of what a television actor is capable of. The Atlantic compared Gandolfini's impact on television to that of Marlon Brando, calling it seismic. TV critic Alan Sepinwall also praised Gandolfini's performance as the greatest dramatic performance in TV history. In December 2013, after an online petition campaign by Gandolfini's high school classmate Laurie Fredericks, his hometown renamed its Park Avenue to James Gandolfini Way at a ceremony attended by several of his former Sopranos co stars. That same month, HBO released a tribute documentary called James Gandolfini, Tribute to a Friend, which included interviews with co-stars and behind-the-scenes footage. Spike Jonze's Academy Award-winning film, Her, 2013, is dedicated to Gandolfini, who had previously worked with Jones on Where the Wild Things Are. In 2014, Gandolfini was inducted posthumously into the New Jersey Hall of Fame. In 2019, his son Michael was cast as a younger version of his father's character Tony Soprano in the Sopranos prequel film The Many Saints of Newark. Michael watched the show for the first time to prepare for the role, which he described as an intense process. Stay tuned for more content. Please like and subscribe if you end.